Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be going over the changelog which has just been added or just been added online onto the Fortnite website to the new update which is going to be coming out tomorrow. So in tomorrow's update it's going to be version 2.2.0 and it's going to be out tomorrow obviously and it's going to remove all the winter features and I will put the changelog on screen now as I go through it. Now bear with me a little bit because sometimes when I read through things I kind of just get a little bit lost and miss up words a little bit but we're going to go through this and talk a little bit about the update. So obviously we've got the major changes and here's like the key major changes coming to the update. This patch includes the long awaited battle royale map update along with the number of significant improvements to, a, uh, to the scoped AR, voice chat and much more. Okay so we're going to dive into the full notes and have a look through and see what we can find. So here we've got stuff about the new locations. I'm not going to talk too much about the new locations because I've already talked about that in previous videos. We've got the battle pack bonuses. Now this is pretty interesting. They've actually got a new tier here. Get a free five tier head start in season three when you purchase season two but obviously you're going to have to buy season three and i believe season three is going to be you're going to have to purchase it with real money you cannot purchase season three with v bucks from what i gathered from what it said at the bottom of season two it says future season passes will be only will, will be non-purchasable with in-game currency or something like that so season three is going to by the looks of it it's going to have to be purchased with money so this is a little kind of advertisement trick they're using which is pretty clever but it's up to you guys i think it's cool but yeah so that's that there uh buy and then there's also a thing saying buy 10 battle bass tiers for the price of six with the special bundle in store on sale now for a limited time now that's going to be coming in very soon now another thing just before we go any further i want to talk about is today obviously is a wednesday and not the thursday we've actually well i've seen a bunch of different changes you can see them on screen right now i'm going to be playing them in the background of this video uh, there's actually a bunch of servers which have already been updated that have been removed completely with the christmas update stuff and there's a bunch of servers still running which have the christmas update stuff on so if you're watching this video today and you've played a bunch of fortnite games and you're a little bit confused yes it's half and half at the minute they're just updating the servers ready for the update tomorrow so let's talk a little bit more about here the winter update is now over so uh the save the world one will be extended until 24th of january we're not going to talk too much about save the world because i don't really cover that at the moment but i'm hoping to cover that in the future we've also got voice chat continue your conversation in the pre-game lobby which will now fully support voice chat okay that's pretty cool so here are the major patch notes we've got a bunch of different notes we're going to run through here right now we've got the weapons we've removed the scope ar from supply drops thank you that is a major major change that is really going to change the style of gameplay it means you're going to get a lot better drops from supply drops thank god they have removed the ar because it would always be a scoped ar in the first circle you near enough every single time okay so what else have they done to the scoped ar they've updated the scope for the scope ar they've replaced the old arrow reticle with a more modern design which is pretty cool it should be easier to tell where you're aiming and where the crosshair actually is so that's pretty cool they've also removed the snowball launcher replaced it with grenade launchers and this one here confused me a little bit slightly increased the side the size of the the grenade loot now i assume that's just the loot not the actual grenade launcher explosive so maybe i'm not too sure exactly what that is but that just seems pretty cool so the next thing we've got a bu bunch of bug fixes here i'm not going to go too much in depth on these we've got we've just got a bunch of stuff so we fixed frag and smoke grenades oh smitch fixed frag and smoke grenades exploding on impact while hitting shallow water that's pretty cool fixed an issue with grenade toss with the grenade toss animation ending uh there it's not too much there there's not really too much there the boogie bomb effect will now kick players out of a weapon targeting that's pretty cool players can no longer place traps while effect with the boogie bomb explosion effects now play properly on water surfaces okay so that's just a similar one so that is basic changes not really too much there this one here with the gameplay change is a major change friendly fire is now disabled this is this they're obviously experimenting with this and it's subject to change we will be closely evaluating this and want your feedback so if you've got any feedback go ahead and give it to epic games i personally think i'm not going to give this feedback but if someone wants to give this back for me they can i personally think friendly fire should be on and you should be able to kill people on your own team accidentally uh, because or turned off i don't know exactly which one on or off <laughs> i'm not too sure basically no friendly fire so you can shoot your own team because a lot of people i've been playing with recently have been using explosives and pushing so for example two of their teammates with pushers with shotguns and the other ones would suppress with grenades and because they can't damage their team with explosives it's causing a lot of issues and they're getting their team are having an easy way of pushing kind of frustrating change the matter up a little bit we'll have to see what they do about that in future i think friendly fire should be an option maybe just with explosives so i'm not too sure yet but we'll have to see that in the future okay so 
Players will now immediately aim their weapon upon landing on the ground if they press and hold the aim button while in air. So I'm not 100% sure exactly what that is. Maybe that's something to do with jumping or something like that. I don't know how that's exactly going to work, but it seems pretty cool. Some of these ones are a little bit confusing to me. So if anyone wants to explain these in the comments down below, you can. I just don't get them all. Okay, pickups no longer take priority over uh, reviving BDNO squad members. Now, I have no idea what that means. Pickups no longer take priority over reviving. Oh, I get it. Okay, so when you revive someone, it's going to go for the revive rather than picking up the weapon. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's really cool. So you're now going to be able to revive someone a lot easier when there's a lot of weapons around. That's pretty cool. You can, that means you can also hide in the weapons on the floor if someone's close, which I've done before. That's a pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one. Okay, empty chests and metal street lights will no longer block players from building. Now, that is an awesome feature, and that's been annoying me a lot in prison and places like that. So that's really going to help us maneuver around prison a lot easier and a lot of the locations wherever you find that affecting you. Corn stalks are no uh, now are now destroyed upon taking any damage. That's pretty cool. Rather than two bullets, it's going to take one. That's really awesome. And then a bunch more bug fixes there. I'll go through some of these as well. So I just adjusted how ammo crates drop ammo so they don't overlap the ammo box item. That's pretty cool. Emotes as well there have changed. I'm just going to try and skip through these as much as possible because some of these aren't too major. They're just little things. Fixing issue would cause supply drops to pass through players' built structures. Fixing issue, uh, yes, trap damage on a ramp. Um, what's this here? This is this actually looks interesting. Fits an issue which caused a trap to deal no damage if a ramp or roof is placed in front of the trap. Ah, let's fancy that because that I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't doing that for me. I'm pretty sure it was damaging people. That's a bit strange. All right, build more visuals no longer. Build mode visuals no longer t no longer persist persist when using a launch pad or when knocked into. I don't know what DBNO means. It must mean something when you get downed, <laughs> but uh, when you go down. So yeah, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, the cozy campfire no longer takes uh, no longer heals when you're eliminated. There's just a bunch of cool stuff here. That's just little little features. Nothing really major there. So there's the bug fixes. Let's have a look at the world. The world map has been updated with with many new points of interest, biomes, and more. That's really cool. Players now interact with grass and foliage as they walk through it. That's that's pretty cool. Added water effects when entering and exiting water. That's awesome. Added a new post process effect from when your camera goes below the water surface. That is interesting because that's how I was looting a lot of items. So that's really going to have to see what exactly that is. It will now look like you are actually underwater and you can no longer see for an infinite distance. Mm, that is interesting. All right. So I assume it's just going to be like a local viewpoint type thing. I did ammo boxes to Dusty Depot. That is very key. I'm happy about that. Increase the amount of metal harvested from shipping containers. Okay, that's awesome because obviously a lot of people grind shipping containers, so that's pretty cool. Water no longer blocks bullets and projectiles. That's awesome. Okay, so item shops starting on the, uh, should be six daily item shops instead of four. That's awesome. Starting on 25th percent the weekly item drop is changing to the featured item shop. Offer offers will update twice weekly instead of once. All right, that's pretty cool. Now the UI. Some of this stuff is really awesome on the UI. This one is one of the features that I really like for myself. This one here, sniper elimination feed messages now include elimination distance in meters. So this one here is going to be really key for knowing exactly how much distance you've actually killed someone at. And you'll also be able to see that in the feed. And hopefully we'll get some crazy like numbers coming up. Maybe not as much on console edition, but you'll definitely see some major things on PC if you are a PC player. When spectating faraway players, a loading message may display for a short time. And the game world will appear after loading completes. You cannot switch to another spectator player until the load completes. Okay, that's just must be due with there's been a bunch of loading issues. I've, I've noticed when you can go backwards and forwards, you can actually see a different like different players and stuff from different views. And I've noticed that's a pretty cool feature. And I don't know, I think it's really cool just when you can like, go backwards and forwards. But the loading thing will change that up a little bit, I suppose. So it's not too bad. It's just a little UI change. The reset building choice option now defaults to off in Battle Royale. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, Added a new option, a little spelling mistake there. <laughs> Sadded a new option to select which voice chat input device to use. That's pretty cool. And then there's just so many bug fixes here, which are only little bug fixes, mainly PC ones and stuff. You guys can read through them. I will link it down below the change log. Let's have a look at some of the performance here for the console edition. So we've got a bunch of different performances. Here's one I can see here for the Xbox. Loading times have greatly improved 
it's over twice as fast to load into a match on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation and Xbox One. That's pretty cool. Only kind of becomes quicker. So is that the same? Greatly reduced hitching and garage cutting memories every minute. Any minute, every minute. Okay, that's pretty cool. These are just little little changes within the game. They're pretty cool. You can read through them if you want to. Let's have a look at art and anima animation. See what we've got down here. Greatly improved the visual of distance trees. That's pretty cool. That's actually going to be really effective with the new biomes and stuff. So I think that's going to be really interesting. That's awesome. Cozy campfire special effect. That's interesting as well. And it's just awesome stuff here. Right, the pony animation. <laughs> we love our little emotes. They're pretty cool. So not too much there on art and animation. Just a little few changes there and then. I think it's pretty cool. Do they keep changing them a little bit? I do like it. It is interesting. So this is key as well. Audio. Added a new audio for pickaxe that previously uses using default swing sounds. That's going to be awesome. Added a pickup sound effect for the damage trap. That's awesome. I swear there was already a pickup sound effect for it but maybe they've added a new one in. I'm not too sure. I think some of these things are getting added currently now. So what's happening if they're updating the game, but some of the updates require a massive update to download, whereas some of the updates they can just add into the server without actually updating the game. I've noticed that a lot uh, with different updates and stuff. So that's something that we can definitely see that's happening within Fortnite. And then there's a bunch of other one fixed footstep sounds, bunch of fixes with the sounds, which is pretty cool. I think that's really awesome. The last few changes are now cosmetic items can be rotated in the locker. That doesn't seem too interesting. I'm not too sure why you'd want to rotate your items, but I suppose you can. Remove the winter theme from the pre-game lobby. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious one. And that is really it. Clicking join on a Discord invite will the client. Okay, so that's just something to do with PC and stuff. So everything there there's some awesome stuff in that changes my favorite feature is probably the sniper feature where you can now see the distance you've actually shot someone with your sniper i think that's going to really change up the gameplay a lot i think that's something that really is going to affect the game completely and it's something pretty cool so that's the best feature by far and i definitely think we're going to have to see what's going to happen in the future of fortnite battle royale i can't see there's going to be major major massive updates like this again in the future for a while now i can't see another major update until at least probably I can probably see them dragging it out to about March time, Easter time, around there, with a major update. Uh, there's not going to be new. This is a major update. This is a massive update for Fortnite Battle Royale 2.2. Uh, 2.2.0 that's going to be a massive update to version 2.2 so it's going to be awesome to see this out tomorrow i am really looking forward to it i'm really excited i definitely think you guys should be excited for it we can see massive changes coming in the future as well hopefully just not recent it's going to be just small updates now every week this is going to probably bring a few bugs they had had a bit of an error that's why it didn't come out yesterday so i assume there probably will be still more bugs in the game but there's always going to be bugs and we have to work around them and play around them so hopefully there's no major bugs like glitching through the map and stuff like that but we never know sometimes things like that are in interesting to find and stuff like that so gameplay is going to change completely you can see the trees and stuff are going to be changing and that's going to be really awesome so i hope you guys have enjoyed today today's video i've gone over exactly what i can in the changelog and what i know from viewing the changelog some of the things in that i don't 100 percent understand because some of them are pc only and some of them are worded a little differently and stuff like that but it's cool let's get ready for it it's going to be awesome tomorrow i hope you guys have enjoyed enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe tell me where you are interested in landing first i'm going to be doing a poll on my channel if you are interested in getting involved in that go over to my channel go into the community section and you can vote your favorite section of where you want to land that's on my channel right now so go and check that out and i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbots part signing out